about today is video analytics or store operations analytics from a company called Scopix okay. using Cisco technology on the back end to capture those analytics. So I think we've got a pretty good understanding that a lot of stores have issues around customer service, customer service queue lines, how long and customers are coming into departments before they're being abandoned. Um, so a lot of, lot of opportunity there to improve. Well, I think the hardest part about that type of thing is that a lot of times you, I think as a, as a business owner, you have the, it's, it's not hard to tell, you've got problems. There, there are lines at different times, you can't predict the flow patterns perhaps, and you don't know exactly how to solve it because you can't quite figure out where it's at. And even if you did solve it, maybe it's hard to wrap some numbers around uh, whether or not you're solving it enough. Maybe you could have done better, I don't know. Absolutely, so yeah. Scopix actually gives you that lens to peer into what's happening at the store level, okay. and then by using the store's baseline and metrics, you can back your way into hard ROI. Okay, well let's walk through it. Okay, so this is what Scopix does. By, by the manner of data collection and the analysis of that data, we're gonna set a benchmark with the customer, and the customer will let us know exactly what their targets are. Okay. And then the output from that is a, a pretty slick dashboard in terms of how each store is doing down to the department level. And then you put you know, an ongoing improvement process plan in place and you have this continuous closed loop feedback. Well, so the part I'm having trouble getting my head around is how do you actually measure the data? So what's the input? I mean, you don't have like stanchions, electronic stanchions where a customer has to say, I entered the line at this point and then by the way, I got to this point at this time and you measure the difference. That doesn't seem like it would scale. That's the beauty of the Scopix software. So they do all of that anal analytics um, kind of behind the scenes as a managed service. So we're capturing the data. But how are they capturing the data? Via Cisco uh, IP cameras. Okay, that's the part, that, okay, that's what I was missing. Okay, so it's IP cameras are just watching and they can tell? There's enough intelligence to know that there's more people congregating for a certain period of time and you can measure that type of thing? Absolutely, and it'll actually do the, the it's, it's intelligent enough to know the difference between a store employee and a customer. Really? Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. Based on um, standard patterns of uniform wear and or how long someone's in the department. So could you use it to know if Bob's been standing around too long or his smoke break's been a little bit long or something like Absolutely. that maybe? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, there we can solve some problems. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was yeah fun. no worries. But yeah, so how does that work now? So that, that's okay. how it works. Okay. And, and that, well, that's how the process works. And then once you've got an understanding of where the store wants to take their customer service levels, we do a benchmark. Okay. In this particular example, um, you can see that within 70% of the time, a customer was not getting approached within 60 seconds with a free store associate. So really no reason why they shouldn't have been, right? Is this, exactly. Now this is part of the pre-analysis that occurs, or now they've already installed the solution and they're collecting the baseline to measure from? Yep, we've installed okay. it and we're collecting data at this point. Okay. And we found that 70% of the time, customers weren't getting help. So the store may come back to you and say, well, gosh, we'd like a target of 45%. Uh, that would be ideal. Uh, if, we can get, if we can get to that level of engagement, we'll see X amount of ROI. <laughs> So, um, after a month, if you move the needle 13%, you can tell that what is being analyzed and focused on is being improved. Right. And then you can back your way into real ROI. So, if you were to able to convert 27% of the time, and you were able to increase the engagement by 25%, you would see this level of ROI in one particular department. Oh, so now you can actually do some analysis around if we improved in this area, we're going to get this much result. So now you've got a whole new set of metrics to work from from a customer service perspective that allows you to say, we need to invest more resources intelligently here because we can prove that we would get this much pattern back. And then obviously you'd still have the actual measurements to back that up or not if you made a mistake. You'd Absolutely. still have the data either way. That's exactly how it works. I like, yep. the, I like the fact too, I would imagine you could tie this to manager's bonuses. So the, you, know, you can hold your individual stores accountable and say, look, we've got to get this up, let's put you on a, I hate to say, a performance improvement plan, right? And so the idea is how can we work forward to get you to the place you need to be and we get more consistency across the company? Absolutely. Okay. And as times get tighter and tighter in retail, extracting every dollar you can 
out of your customer base yeah. becomes that much more important. No, and what type of, how much time does it take? So it's 45 days kind of getting a baseline and this type of thing. Do you have an idea of, you've had some customers go through this, what's the expected amount of time before the investment that they made to get started starts paying off for them? I think, I think that's a great question. So if you looked at this particular department um, in this particular store, you saw a return on investment of $800,000 a year per that, just that department. Um, with an investment of just 50k on the Cisco, uh, and that's within our first year. Yeah, that's wow. within the first year. So if you back up a slide and you look at, okay, even at a conservative expected um, improvement rate, you had 25,000, almost 26,000 dollars in improved margin. So if if your baseline to get in on the Cisco side is 50 per store, you're looking at a 60 day ROI according to. This the, the data that we found. Seems relatively straightforward. Yeah. Looks like you have some management analysis here as well as far as how they interact with the, uh, yep. how, the how you might interact from a corporate perspective. And this is uh, this is the Scopix dashboard. Okay. So uh, using Google Maps, you can actually see nearly real time which stores are in compliance with the metric you've set forth and which are not. Right. So if you're uh, the CEO or just the director of retail ops, you can go into an individual store and get a sense for exactly how well you're doing. Because obviously you'd work on this uh, from, a, from an aggregate perspective at the corporate level, but then individual stores or regions are going to want to look at the data specific to them so that they know how they're tracking on their own goals and plans. And exactly. Like okay. Yep. So in this example, we'll go to a store in Glendale, Arizona. And we can see where we're compliant and where we're not. Wow. That kind of does jump out at you. Yep. And if you look at sales assistance, in other words, the metric of approaching the customer in X amount of time, being compliant or non-compliant, you can go down to each week and then each day. Wow, so there's a lot of ways you can dissect this data. And this is based on uh, plans that they've laid themselves. In other words, That's correct. Because we can measure actual, but at some point you go, okay, well, what's our... Well, how are we going to grow with it? Okay. And that comes directly from, from the store you're working with, absolutely. Good information. And then as you just continue to drill down, month, store, month, day, week, hour, you can go to individual data points, um, typically backed up by the video analytics itself. So if you had a store manager say, that's impossible. There weren't 30 people in the footwear department oh. not being helped. Well, let's see the pictures, yeah, Frank. You can, yeah. you can go right back to the still shot. Excellent. Oh, I like that as well. And then just before we run out of time, I can't yep. keep take my eyes off the fact you've got an iPhone application uh, that goes with this as well. So obviously it looks like you can plug into your store, see at a glance for that manager on the move. You're not necessarily leaving the dashboard behind. That's exactly right. So yep. that's a nice one in as well. In this case, Scopix has uh, ported it to the iPhone and some of the same metrics you can find right off the phone. I like it. Well, Joe,